Hey guys, it is Dark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get insanely low hertz on your Rilla tag with only side quest. Before I show you how to do it, I'm going to explain a bit about hertz and, like, <laughs> why you would want this, because it's just, like, horrible to an extent. The cons right now, you can't jump or anything. I have a three times boost, and yes, I'm an older version of Gorilla Tech, so we don't have really a texture for the boost, but I have a three times boost, and I could barely jump. Flick jump, can barely jump. So if you can't jump, then you can't branch. So that means this is only good for ground and walls. I will warn you, do not use this in publics. If you do use this in publics, that's on you. And if you do get banned, that's on you. That's why I'm in a Gorilla Tag copy using this. And it does actually work in Gorilla Tag and like a lot of Gorilla Tag fan games. So yeah. And with this method, you'll be you'll be able to change your hertz between a few different illegal hertz, all the way down to like two hertz, <laughs> which I don't recommend, all the way to your normal hertz. And if you do end up like forgetting how to like stop it, and you do not want illegal hertz anymore, you just gotta restart your headset. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm on my computer now. Um, just to clarify, you do not need PCBR. You just need side quests and developer mode cord uh, yeah so what you want to do is connect your computer to your oculus with any type of cord like literally any i'm pretty sure there would be some type of cords that wouldn't work but like those cords are probably from like the 1980s but um whatever so once you have them connected you want to open up side quest if you don't have side quest um you could search up another video on that how to get side quest and if you have side quest on your quest 2 I'm sorry, but that's just not going to work because you don't have all these options at the top. You could just download games. But what you want to do from side quest is you want to go all the way up to here to run ABD commands. Press on that and then custom command. This, will, uh, this command won't automatically be here, but this is the command that you do need to type in for weird hertz. And what I meant by you could change your hertz to any like special hertz that are like low is this number. This number, how, like, the bigger the number, the mean, means the lower the hertz. I'd say 3 hertz is about 36 hertz, 4 hertz, 26, and, uh, 2, I'd say that's around 45, and 1 is your normal hertz. I recommend staying at those numbers just to be safe. I'm not sure if, like, really low hertz would break your headset. Either way, when you do go on low hertz, things just really break, and there's really no point. Like, you, you literally can't play. It thinks that you're still in the menu, so your hands are stuck to your body. I've tried it before. There's really no point. But, um, if you're too lazy to type all this stuff, check the description or like a pinned comment. Because if I forget to put it in the description, I will put it in a pinned comment. But if it's in the description, just copy and paste this and put it in here. And after you do that, you just want to run command. And if you and if you ever want to get rid of this, just take this number and set it to one. But I'm gonna keep it. And again, if you do get banned inside of Publix for doing this, that's on you. I did not advise you to use this in Publix. I said in privates, maybe other fan games. But yeah, if you have any questions, put those in the comments. I'll try and watch the comments for a few weeks. So yeah, toodles!